Hello, welcome. In this short video, let us look at the number of computations, the definition of the discrete Fourier transform. The number of computations in the definition of discrete Fourier transform, DFT. So the DFT is given by x of k is equal to the summation n is equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e power minus j 2 pi n into k by capital N. Here we are looking at the n point dft of a sequence x of n of length n this n is equal to small that is small n is equal to 0 to capital N minus 1. So for this sequence x of n, the dft, the endpoint dft is given by x of k, where k is also from 0 to n minus 1. So the value of the spectrum in frequency domain x of k is given by this summation. Now we want to look at the number of computations, that is multiplications and additions in this computation. Note that this definition x of k, uh, that is the summation, has n terms. That is, we can rewrite this definition as x of k is equal to the first term, that is first value x of 0 multiplied by e power minus j 2 pi 0 into k by n, that is for n is equal to 0. Next we have n equal to 1, that is x of 1 multiplied by e power minus j 2 pi into 1 into k by capital N. And then we have the next term x of 2 e power minus j 2 pi 2 into k by capital N. And so on until the last term which is x of capital N minus 1 that is x of n minus 1 multiplied by e power minus j 2 pi n minus 1 into k by capital N. So these are the terms in this summation. Note that there are n terms. Therefore, the number of complex multiplications, number of complex multiplications, complex multiplications will be also equal to capital N because there are n terms here and each term has one product that is the product of this uh, value that is the time domain value x of n and the basis function or the uh, exponential function e power minus j 2 pi n k by capital N. So there is only one product in each term. So there are n products for a given k. And next the number of additions that is the number of complex additions. The number of complex additions will be n minus 1 because there are n terms there will be obviously n minus 1 additions one less than the number of terms. So the number of complex additions for a given k is given by n minus 1. And since the value of k changes from 0 to n minus 1, since the value of k changes from or is from 0 to n minus 1, the total number of computations can be calculated as follows. Since the value of k is from 0 to n minus 1 and we have n multiplications for each k, the total total number of multiplications is given by the number of k's that is n multiplied by the number of multiplications for each k. So the total is n square complex multiplication. Next, next the total number of additions that is complex additions is given by the number of case again n into the number of additions for each k which is n minus 1. So the total is n square minus n. The total number of additions is n square minus n and total number, total number of multiplications is n square. So hence for a the original definition of the DFT the number of computations is of order n square. Thanks for watching.